Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Outside uh, Tusin Broadway Station, obviously this is Sadiq Khan's um, home patch, and we're giving out leaflets and speaking to people and stuff, and obviously getting a quite a positive like reception. Like, what brings you here today, then? Yeah, I mean, this was Sadiq Khan's um, seat when he was an MP, and he was the transport minister. But now he's in charge of transport for London, and he's uh, made a complete disaster of the roads around here. And all the time we've been going around different places in London. Two of the main issues coming up is people don't want the ULES being expanded and extra charge to drive within the north and south circular roads. People don't want low traffic neighbourhoods and road barriers and blockages. People don't want pop-up cycle lanes on the main roads. And Tooting has been really, really badly affected by that because you've got cycleways narrowing the A24, which goes uh, north and south through Tooting. It's a main trunk road into London and it's caused carnage and chaos and congestion on the road. I'm saying if I'm mayor, I'm going to get rid of these road blockages, get rid of these road narrowing measures and get London moving again. Awesome, great. And tomorrow you're in, so today you're in Sibby Carnes Patch and tomorrow you're in Uxbridge and that's obviously Boris Johnson's constituency. So um, we'll be there tomorrow at what, Uxbridge Station from 11am? Yeah, that's right. Great. I'm really looking forward to that. Right, awesome. We're going to go to the market now and see what's going on. Thank you, David. Cheers. Well, yeah. Messages you've got three different papers, isn't it? It's the pink one for the mayor, and then uh, you've got the orange one. Orange, the orange is the London. It's really important people vote Heritage Party on the orange paper, which is the London yeah. symbol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good luck, yeah, right, good luck, yeah. And then we'll make a good change, yeah, absolutely, sure. Yeah, good, man, good, yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Get rid of the road blockages, yeah. yeah. Yeah, fantastic, thank you. Thank you. We're here inside Tootin Market, yeah. and there's a little bar just above um, this 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 um, this food shop here, cocktail bar. And even though this is technically, well, I don't know what what would you call this? It's it's a it's an enclosure, but I wouldn't exactly call it like a alchemy bar, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, and it's out with. But I've just been speaking to the owner there. They say that it's not open because it doesn't fit into the um, what you say the criteria of being allowed yeah. of being allowed a government telling you what can and can't be open. Oh, no. um, what, what do you think? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely terrible, isn't it? You've got a beautiful balcony bar here. It's inside. It shouldn't matter whether it's inside or outside because everything should be open. But here we are. We've got a business owner, a uh, small business, trying to do their best here in Tooting and the Tooting Market. We've got a fantastic place for people to go and sit in where you could get more customers and do better business. But no one's allowed. It's closed here. There's no entry. This is barred because of the Johnson government and their ridiculous regulations. And then, you know, they're also afraid of Metropolitan Police coming in and then enforcing it and closing down his business uh, if he does open up as normal. I want to get rid of all this ridiculous closures, business closures. We need to get businesses open, we need to get the roads open to get London moving again. So please do vote Curtin for Mayor, Heritage Party for London Assembly to make London uh, move and uh, get open again. Stop the ULES expansion, stop all these road blockages. That's all what Khan wants, that's what Boris wants, that's what the Tory candidate wants, Lib Dems, Green. They want to continue more of this madness. And David and myself, Heritage Party, we want to end it all. So please just support the 6th of May, yeah? All right, thank you very much. This is the, uh, you know, obviously, Sadiq Khan's area. And as you can see right here, all of these businesses are shut because of the Coronavirus Act, which means probably most of these businesses won't come back, right? They're gone for good. We speak to one of the neighboring markets here, uh, markets here, here, and it's not it's not open, and he's saying they probably won't come back. This is what's going on. This, this Coronavirus Act, which Labour, Conservative, Lib Dem, Green, have all been complicit in, they've all been lockstep together, working together to shut down all these businesses, right? So what David Curtin and myself want to do for the Heritage Party, what we want to do is instruct the police not to enforce the Coronavirus Act in London, and then also help, which helps then all the business to reopen. That's what we want to do, so please do vote for us on the 6th of May, and then stop all of this madness. Thank you. Yeah, right, I know. Yeah, well, if I'm there, that's, oh, yeah, I will. I'll, 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 I'll
Please do that. Please do that. It's a lot of hassle. Yeah, because Sadiq can't put him in. I don't think why he did it. Well, he does something good and then some of them are bad, but we can't judge him on all of it. But the blockage is really a thing. It's very hard for the businesses. Get the businesses open and then say what I could do is control the police and say, you know, the police won't be coming shutting down businesses. Yeah, know, police come to kill the business, yeah, exactly. get everybody they out, be, they be and then what they do, That's only the business yeah. which is by the door, they work because they are by yeah. the door, the customer just gonna leave yeah, yeah. behind and they stay there. So, that so is we some, inside, yeah, yeah. we open our eyes. Have you had that? Have the police come round? Yeah, yeah, so many times. They, they are doing their job, what they have yeah, been told. Okay. But they shouldn't be ordering them to do yeah. that because it's killing us. Well, that's interesting, dear, because that is something that I can do as mayor: yeah. is stop the police from hassling businesses, mm -hmm. from hassling customers, and uh, stopping people from just doing their normal thing. You know, I can't control ones with council. No, I understand that, but, but at I least can someone can speak on our behalf, and I can speak up for it because yeah. this is wrong. You know, I've been against the lockdowns from the beginning. It's wrong. It's disproportionate. It's bad for business. It's bad for society. Mm -hmm. We need to end it. So that's, that's my plan. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, really good to talk to you. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you so much. much. Thank yeah. you for your time. I You're hope you here. get uh, along and you succeed. Thank you. And very we'll much. get to support yeah. you. Fantastic. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Man. I'm also one of the candidates for London Mayor. So I want to end all this lockdown. I want to get one of the businesses to open again. Let's go back to normal. Yeah. Thank you for the support. Cheers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. no. Businesses should normally be open right now, but they can't do because of this nonsense coronavirus act stuff and these nonsense regulations don't make any sense anyway. Because in Greenwich Market, where we were the other day, Indoor Market and Brixton Market, all of these businesses are allowed to be open in their relevant market, but for some strange reason, in two teams, in the Palms area, a labour area too, they're not allowed open. So what's going on? I thought labour was for the small markets. I thought they were for the, the small business owner. You know, they're not. They're, for, they're only for big multinational corporations, just like the Conservatives are, just like Lib Dem, just like Green. So stop voting for the mainstream parties, vote them all out, come May the 6th, and instead, Vote for David Curtin and the Heritage Party for London Assembly and nationwide as well. Thank you. Right. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, ladies. The ladies. Yep. All these girls these are, obsessing these, over Sean. These are my cheerleaders. The cheerleaders for the gym. Obviously, they're voting <laughs> for David Curtin. This is strong. Family have no money to feed them. Then, we're here at Tooting High Street here and obviously here we've seen some uh, pop-up bicycle lanes here um, obviously we'll count as well in the interview how many cyclists are going to go past as well. I've got a funny feeling it's going to be one or none. Um, what, do you, what do you think about it? Yeah, I mean this is one of the things that's typical of what's going on all over London on TfL roads. This is the A24, it's one of the main trunk routes north to south into London. It runs through Tooting where I am here today. And uh, we've got one pop-up cycle lane with hardly any bicycles on it. And of course all of this road space, a whole lane has been lost to motor vehicles, emergency vehicles and uh, business vehicles and so on. So it seems to be car parking space as well, where people could just kind of park for a short time, go and use the businesses off on the street. Now they can't do that. So businesses are losing customers because they can't park here and then the roads are all congested, particularly at peak time in the mornings and evenings, because one whole lane has been taken over to cyclists and I haven't seen any cyclists on this lane. Well, yeah, I'm trying to give the cyclists the benefit of the doubt and at least have one pass, but I could be here about five minutes and it won't be one. So, um, so obviously, if you're mayor, you're going to remove these or at least uh, at least at least the roads that you do control anyway. Yeah. And obviously, any any uh, bus, anything that a bus can go down, a taxi can go down too, and all of that. So hopefully, come May the sixth, um, people will vote for you, not just as mayor, but also for the assembly for the Heritage Party. Yeah, absolutely. This is a TFL road, so I can get rid of these straight away if I'm the mayor. Excellent. And uh, please also, Heritage Party for the Assembly too. Great, thank you very much. And more pollution than, than what they say it's going to do. It's having the opposite effect uh, on the environment, on pollution to what they say it's going to do. So I want to get rid of these barriers so that, you know, emergency...